Mr. Stoltenberg, NATO has been vocal in identifying China as a threat. The Vilnius Summit Declaration states that China is trying to subvert the so-called rules-based international order and criticizes China for being opaque about its strategy and intentions. Now, my first question is, how is it possible to subvert an order that has no constitution, no basis whatsoever in international law? And if you think it does, in fact, appeal to or have a standing in international law, why then do NATO and NATO members repeatedly violate international law without any consequence? Yugoslavia, Iraq, Afghanistan, Syria, Libya, for example... China has not illegally invaded and bombed a sovereign country in over 40 years, while the US and our allies have hardly stopped in the same period, killing millions of civilians, displacing millions more, and illegally sanctioning dozens of countries to the point where tens of thousands of men, women and children are extrajudicially executed each year for simply existing in a country targeted by Western imperialism. Is it not time to return to multilateral international forums based on diplomacy and international law like China has repeatedly urged the US to do? In July, NATO called on China to play a constructive role as a permanent member of the United Nations Security Council and to abstain from supporting the war effort in any way. The reality is that their positioning has allowed them to play a constructive role as a potential mediator for peace. It was NATO, the EU and the US who dismissed their peace plan. You yourself ridiculed the plan, saying that China didn't have much credibility. Credibility is about consistency and being believable. China has stayed neutral in the war, did not impose sanctions, still trades with Russia and Ukraine, and has flatly stated that they will not supply weapons to either side in the conflict. The EU has armed one side in the conflict, imposed massive sanctions, but continues to be one of Russia's biggest trade partners. Tell me, Mr. Stoltenberg, who has the most credibility? 